All right, guys, make a statement with your fragrance. Let them know you're coming. These are the most intense fragrances in my collection, and if I want people to know I'm wearing fragrance, which I want to do all the time, these are the ones that I do it with. Anyway, if you want to find out what they are, I've got a top 20, which is not ranked, but I also have three freshies after the outro. So, coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yes, today I'm talking about fragrances that are big, bad, bold, intense fragrances. And these are the ones you can wear in the winter time or any time if you want to let people know you're wearing them. So these are the strongest fragrances in my collection. A lot of these happen to be ex de Parfum. A lot of them happen to be also Eau de Parfum. But uh, for me, these are the most intense in my collection. Anyway, I'll let you know what they are before I do. If this is your first time, tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So let's get started. This is the first fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about and it's a new one in my collection. And as I said, this is not a ranked video. These are just the top 20 that, I, that I'm feeling currently in my collection that are really, really intense. And this is a new one in the collection. As I said, it's from the House of Tower Perfumes, Sundowner. How many of you have tried this one? You know, uh, Tower Perfumes, Make some great fragrances, but some of their uh, last couple of ones, um, you know, they were nice, but uh, they didn't really like jump out at me. And especially the aquatic one uh, was actually absolutely not my favorite. But this is coming back to the kind of fragrances that I really, really like from this house. And it's really, really an intense experience. It's a spice bomb kind of a fragrance with tobacco, cinnamon, tonka, vanilla, a cacao, sandalwood, cipriol. But it's ambery, it's warm, it's spicy, and it's pretty, pretty big, so a little goes a long way. Sundowner, amazing fragrance. Check it out if you don't know it. I highly, highly recommend that, and I'm gonna do a review of it very soon, so stay tuned for that. The next one I'm talking about is a Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. It's still a pretty big fragrance. It's a big, bad, bold fragrance, intense. Uh, you know, it's tobacco once again, just like the tower, contrasted with lots of vanilla, dried fruits, uh, cacao, tonka beans, and some woodsy notes. It's a really, really great fragrance. It's also perfect for the holidays, recently featured in my Thanksgiving fragrances video. If you haven't caught that, go catch it. But still, one of my favorite fragrances from this house, and I absolutely love the smell. It smells really, really great. So, Tobacco Vanille at number 19. Uh, again, not a ranked video, just numbered. At number 18, it's Montal's Black Oud, this one right here. Black Oud, again, it's a really, really big fragrance. It's really intense Oud. Not animalic, very, very woody, woody, contrasted with the roses. It's a very, very dry experience. And then you've got that sexy patchouli in here. So the overall experience is really, really amazing. There's a little bit of an amber and a little bit of a citrusy uh, under there as well. Citrusy touch like uh, oranges but it's mostly about the oud rose and uh, the patchouli. It's a really, really sexy combination. Really intense, long-lasting fragrance. Black oud at number 18. At number 17, it's Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady. I keep speaking about this one because I feel like it's a pretty intense experience overall. It's a great fragrance, great sillage, everything like that, and this is the kind of fragrance all of these are fragrances that you can wear and let people know you're wearing fragrance because they will definitely smell you, especially if you pile on the sprays. But this particular one is a very spicy rose incense fragrance combo with patchouli as well. There's some sandalwood, there's some, you know, ambery touches in there, warm, spicy touches. Uh, and then, of course, there's a little bit of raspberry in here as well to give it a little bit of a fruity vibe. Very, really wonderful fragrance. This is Frederick Malls Portrait of a Lady at number 17. Next fragrance, we're talking about a new fragrance from a new house. This is Lorenzo Pazzalia. This is Carbonara. Another amber fragrance, a new one in my collection. Stay tuned for a video on this house very, very soon. This is all about amber, vanilla, sandalwood, black pepper, pink pepper, coconut, davana. Beautiful combination. You know, it's called Carbonara, and I mentioned this in my video. I've already shot it for this house. Carbonara is a, you know, a great pasta dish that I really, really love, and it uses a lot of black pepper. And this is a very peppery, uh, spicy, amber, warm, amber, spicy experience. So it's very, very prominent. So maybe I think that's where the idea or the name comes from. Uh, it's a kind of a paying tribute to the spice of black pepper perhaps, but it's really really intense Extrait de parfum concentration very long-lasting and a great smelling spicy warm spicy amber. So Lorenzo Pazzalia 
carbonara is at number 16. All right, again, this is not a ranked video. I'm going to keep repeating it, but uh, at number 15, this is Amouage Interlude 53. This particular fragrance, I actually discussed a little bit in yesterday's video for Reflection 45. I'm getting the numbers all mixed up. This is Interlude 53. This is exactly the kind of interlude I want. And, um, you know, I felt like the original interlude man seemed a little subdued. It was intense for a while, but for me, when I started wearing a lot more intense fragrances, it kind of fell in the back. But here with Interlude 53, even though it's overpriced, I think we've got a really intense beast mode version of Interlude Man. Very, very wonderful fragrance. It's incense, apopanax, amber, oregano, leather, and oud, and the combination is a really, really fantastic. Beastly experience, really, really dark, ambery, spicy, uh, incensey fragrance. Amouage Interlude 53, a wonderful fragrance. The next fragrance I'm talking about is from the house of Eta Libre Orange. It's Rien Intense Incense. I mention this one all the time. This to me smells like a 80s fragrance, uh, men's fragrance, really intense. This is a unisex targeted fragrance. I try to make all of these unisex, but there are some um, men, uh, male targeted releases, which I'll mention in the info box. But this to me, even though it's unisex, it screams so masculine. It's kind of in that same ballpark as um, in uh, Chanel's uh, Anteus, kind of in that leathery, smoky, animalic kind of experience. Very, very intense, big, bad, bold, dark fragrance. Leather, aldehydes, incense, oak moss, styrax, patchouli. Really overwhelming, a little goes a long way, but if you want them to know you're there, spray some of this on and they will definitely know. Anyway, this is Etat Libre de Orange Rien Intense Incense. Next up, going to the house of Frank Poclet. This is Cocaine, this one right here. And again, I've m mentioned this particular fragrance over and over again. This is a very tuberose forward fragrance. Unisex, and again, some of you might think this is feminine leaning. Some of you might think it's masculine. I find it to be fairly unisex, maybe slightly masculine leaning, but no, I think it's very unisex. And the tuberose is overwhelming, really intense, combined with caramel, manoi oil, lily, orchid, tobacco, red berries, bitter orange patchouli, but a really, really intense version of this in your face, big bad tuberose, you know, mixed with this caramel and Manoy, which kind of has a tropicalish touch. Number 13, Frank Boclet. Check that out if you don't know it. Uh, very, very intense, uh, big bad fragrance, uh, one that you can wear and uh, totally make a statement. But be warned with that fragrance, it's orange juice. So the color of the, the fragrance is orange. Don't wear and spray it on a white shirt. You're gonna definitely stain it. Next, going to the house of Maison Francis Kirkjian. This is Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Ray. Once again, this to me is one of the sexiest fragrances. And I always say I never really liked it when it first launched, but it's become a favorite. I think really I opened up to Ambrox and, and the way this fragrance smells. It has one of the best sillages, best trails, best projection. It's intense, overwhelming, uh, the luxury version of the original. And I think it's a wonderful fragrance with ambergris, ambroxan, almonds, jasmine, musk. Beautiful combination of notes, wonderful wear, very long lasting. It'll definitely make a presence. You'll make a statement with your intense fragrance. This is MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. Next fragrance, going to the house of Mancera. This is Red Tobacco, this one right here. Red Tobacco is overwhelming, very, very intense experience. It's a kind of a dirty tobacco. It has sweet touches and spicy touches, but it does act very, very ashy, dirty. It's tobacco, vanilla, amber, patchouli, cinnamon, oud, saffron, green apple, incense, peach, nutmeg, jasmine, all this stuff blends together to create this wonderfully overwhelming fragrance. Wear it a little and it smells really great. Wear, wear it like a lot and people will definitely notice you're coming down that hall or that street because you'll leave that most fantastically uh, big uh, cloud uh, behind you. Anyway, this is a red tobacco from the house of Mancera. Great fragrance. And this is one of my all-time favorite uh, patchouli fragrances. This is uh, Javois Psychedelique. Another great fragrance. It's really, really intensely patchouli, but this is the chocolate cakey patchouli. It has resins and vanilla, so once it blends with the patchouli, it creates a chocolate cakey touch, and it smells fantastic. Amazing trail, once again, big, bad, bold, yummy patchouli fragrance. You know, patchouli, amber, vanilla, musk, labdanum, geranium, rose, and a few other notes, but fantastic fragrance. This is Javois Psychedelic. If you don't know that fragrance, you probably have been 
following me just recently because I speak about that one all the time. It is one of my favorite, favorite fragrances and also one of my favorite patchouli fragrances. All right, this next fragrance is from the house of Maitre Parfumeur Gantier. This is Ombre Mythique, this one right here. So overwhelming amber and overly powdery amber. It's intense, it can choke you, spray a little, and it's overwhelming and it smells really, really great. It's an amber, but it's a powdery amber, as I said. Features labdanum, amber, myrrh, vanilla, tonka, sandalwood, patchouli, incense, coriander so there's a lot major resonance touch there's spices in here patchouli so it's a little sexy it's a little smoky but a beautiful gorgeous intense amber experience number nine it's maitre parfumet gantier ombre mythique i have a full review of that one on the channel from a long time ago like 2017 somewhere around there next up going to the house of guerlain this is bois mysterio this is a great fragrance really really intense for a Guerlain fragrance, it's kind of animalic and a little sweaty smelling as well, but it's very, very sexy. It features myrrh, leather, cedar, cumin, bay laurel, patchouli, neroli, jasmine. So in the end, it's kind of like a woody, leathery, resinous experience. Great combo of that bay laurel note with that, you know, sparkly cumin note in here that kind of gives you that sweaty smell. Uh, it's really, really great. So it's Guerlain Bois Mysterio at number eight. All right, next up, going to the house of Art Olfato. This is Oud Cassian, this one right here. Um, this is really intense, uh, spicy, uh, smoky experience, leathery experience and aromatic touches as well. It has lots of woods in there, cardamom, saffron, woodsy notes, ambergris, vetiver, tonka, oud, vanilla, sandalwood. So it's overwhelmingly intense. It's got oud. It also kind of hints at a little bit of uh, something like black afghano, so it's got that kind of smoky, kind of dark tobacco-ish touch, but it's really, really overwhelming. It's intense, a little goes a long way. It is ex de Parfum once again, uh, and I, I love the way it smells. Just a really great dark, smoky, woody, spicy experience. So Art Olfato Oud Kassian, uh, check that out if you don't know it. The next one is from the house of Zerjoff. It's a gourmand, but it's also really, really intense and overwhelming. It's beastly. So I wanted to feature one Zerjoff, and this is a parfum, pure parfum uh, version of this fragrance. And the thing is, uh, gourmands don't necessarily uh, come off very beast mode to me, but this one definitely does because it's really, really long lasting and it's intense with uh, orange and chocolate. This is Symphonium and it features Spanish Mandarin, Belgian chocolate, vanilla, Laos oud and Thai oud. But the great smell, really wonderful, it's orgasmic smell. It's a delicious combination of a chocolate note with the mandarin orange. It's very, very yummy and uh, it wears beautifully. It's really intense and long lasting, as I said. So Symphonium from Zerjoff, it's at number six. Number five, going to the house of Amarud. This is Sunset Oud, a great, great fragrance from this house. This house kind of surprises me with some of their fragrances. The white collection, there were several that I really enjoyed, and there are several I enjoy in this dark bottle collection as well. This is a very oody experience with leather, amber, myrrh, vetiver, lavender, tobacco, flower, rosemary. So in the end, it's kind of a woody, spicy, ambery oud experience. You know, it's got, it's got the earthy grassiness. It's got some aromatic, lavendery kind of uh, touches, herbal touches, and they've got that floral touch from um, tobacco flower. So so it's a great smelling fragrance, very, very long lasting. This particular fragrance, I believe, is also ex de Parfum, so it's very, very concentrated with the perfume oils and it wears beautifully, especially in the winter or if you want to make a presence and make a statement with your perfume and say, hey, here I am, smell me now. So this is Amarud Sunset Oud, a great fragrance uh, from that house. The next one I'm actually is from the house of Parfums and Marley and I'm featuring something completely different because I really love this one. And the other ones get spoken about a lot, so I decided to change it up a little bit today. This is Nisian, this one right here. This is the ambery, woody, patchouli fragrance from this house. Once again, it's overwhelming. It smells really, really sexy. It's got some sweetness. It's got some earthiness. But in the end, it's a very, very woody, sparkly experience. There's some leathery touches in there, more like an aromatic, leathery, uh, saffron touch. But it's woods, patchouli, saffron, labdanum, pink pepper, floral notes, olibanum. So it does have some resinous touches. It does have some balsamic touches. But in the end, it's the woods, patchouli, saffron. So it's aromatic and leathery with um, saffron and uh, patchouli with the woods. Yummy fragrance. This is a very underrated fragrance from this house, but it definitely deserves the attention because it smells really, really great. Next up, going to the house of Zoologist Perfumes. This is B. Once again, kind of a gourmandish fragrance, but very powdery with yellow flowers. 
and also the kind of honey royal jelly combination to give you this very very sweet gourmandish kind of a floral experience it's really really beautiful and very very long lasting it's also very very concentrated I believe this once again is x de Parfum so these are fragrances if you don't know what this means you can search the channel x de Parfum and learn about it it's the highly concentrated perfume oil and and it's the ones that really you know have that lingering power they last and last and last because it's a lot of perfume oil against how much alcohol they use but this is a really delicious fragrance my favorite from zoologist perfumes and zoologist perfumes fragrances do have a lasting power and I wanted to make sure I featured the one I really love from this house and it's B and it smells really really great it's also warm and spicy and gooey and you know honeyed and things like that it's a beautiful wear and perfect for cold days or when you want to make a statement say hey here's my perfume enjoy it or leave me alone kind of a thing anyway zoologist perfumes B a great scent. Next up, going to the house of Louis Vuitton. This is Ombre Nomad, this one right here. This, uh, to me, is a, a, you know, a pricey fragrance once again, but, you know, it definitely has the uh, strength and uh, longevity built into the fragrance. It's a great oody fragrance with a very, very light rosiness. It's got the raspberry, it's got lots of incense and resins in here. So basically, you've got this kind of aromatic experience with, you know, the oud and uh, incense. And there's a little bit of saffron, which contributes and creates a little bit of a leathery. So overall, it's ambery, it's oody, it's smoky, lightly fruity, and then of course leathery. Great fragrance from Louis Vuitton, probably one of the better ones, and it's really, really long-lasting, and it's the one that smells great. This actually has great projection uh, for what it is as well, and that's what I like about it. It's, uh, it's a screamer, uh, and again, I was recently explaining in a video, Eau de Parfum versus Eau de Toilette, or Eau de Parfum versus x -ray. Uh sometimes uh, x -ray, Parfum fragrances don't have that projection. This definitely does because it's an eau de parfum. So this is uh, from the house of Louis Vuitton. It's Ombre Nomad. And the last fragrance I'm talking about today, again, this is not a ranked video. It's from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, my favorite. This is Ursa. It's a, a great fragrance. It's big, bad, bold, make a statement kind of a fragrance. You know, wear the patchouli, wear the dried fruits, wear the booze, wear the leather, a little vanilla with a little bit of woods thrown in. And in the end, you smell fantastic. Yes, it smells a a little bit like uh, Straight to Heaven from, uh, well, it does smell a little bit like uh, Straight to Heaven, as I was saying, but it's a, a little more intense. Not a little, a lot more intense because I feel like this is a lot more intense uh, than even Straight to Heaven Extreme. And it has that leatheriness, so it makes it a little rougher, a little more of a bad boy kind of a, an experience because it goes a little animalic, but it's fantastic. It lasts a long time. You definitely have that trail and this is the kind of fragrance you would let people know you're coming down the street you know this is ursa from the house of tiziana terenzi and that's the last fragrance i'm going to talk to you about today stay tuned for three fragrances that are freshies after the outro but let me know what your thoughts are on these fragrances have you worn them do you like them do you enjoy them do you experience the same thing that i do fragrances that make a statement fragrances that let people know you're coming down to the street uh put a comment down so i can find out and also let me know what other fragrances you would recommend that would do this put down as many fragrances that you know that would make a statement a big bad boy kind of a fragrance really intense fragrance overwhelming to some people put them down I want to find out what they are either way guys thanks so much for watching today's video if you have any questions or comments please do list below please like this video please share it follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye Okay, I've got those three freshies for you. These are the most intense fresh fragrances that I have in my collection and I wanted to feature three freshies in case you don't like these really dark, deep, dark, rich, intense, you know, uh, fragrances for the winter. I'm going to go with uh, Nishane's Hachivat first. Really intense, uh, freshy, uh, dark, uh, not dark, what am I saying? Not dark at all. It's uh, got kind of a bitter woodiness in there. So it's got oak moss, pineapple, grapefruit, patchouli, and cedar. And you definitely experience the sharpness, the bitterness of the notes, but it's beautiful fragrance. It opens up and sweetens up on me, but it sprays a little bitter and sharp, but that and I really like it. Yes, it hints at Aventus, but it's a very, very long lasting version of it. And I really love the way it smells. This is Hachivat from the house of Nishane. And the second one I'm gonna to talk to you about is um, Aquaviva from the house of Profumum Roma. 
This to me is an oily fragrance and you can actually rub it on if you haven't done that with these fragrances. Make sure to go catch my video I shot at the um, Aqua, uh, not Aqua, the Profumum Roma uh, boutique, uh, the flagship boutique in Rome where the associates there actually tell you, you this particular fragrance from this house or these fragrances from this house are ones you can actually rub because it is oily. But this is probably one of the better citrusy fragrances that are longer lasting than your average uh, citrusy fragrances. And this one features loads of tart lemon, cypress, cedar, laburnum. But in the end, it's a great combination of tart citruses that are really, really intense in here with uh, cypress, a little green and uh, woods from the cedar. Uh, a beautiful fragrance that I really, really love. If you like a sour, tart, lemony fragrance, definitely check out uh, Profumum Roma's Aqua Viva. And last but not least, I'm gonna talk about the Harmonist Yin Transformation, another really, really intense fragrance, very, very long lasting, overwhelming. It's Exhale de Parfum, so it's concentrated. But this is a kind of a watery fragrance. If you like the idea of water, not marine, but watery, wearing watery fragrances, this is definitely one you should check out, especially since watery fragrances would not really necessarily mean they're long lasting. This one, to me, it is. It's got that kind of like wateriness running throughout it with ozonic notes, but it also features lotus, watermelon, cyclamen, pink pepper, lily, and musk. A beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Really wonderful to wear and absolutely love the way this smells. So this is the, the, this is the Harmonist Yin Transformation and that is the last fragrance I'm going to talk to you about. It's a great uh, to see you guys and I appreciate you tuning in and stay tuned for more videos very soon. Have a good one. Bye.